Hi friends! I was under the weather over between Christmas and New Year's and this is kind of the first day that I'm feeling back to normal which I'm very grateful for. I'm trying to find a hat. I'm trying to find a hat because I gotta go outside and do the chores. So I'm gonna get bundled up. It is 14 degrees Fahrenheit outside. It's not warm, so I have to put on multiple layers so that I don't freeze my little bum off. probably 150 200 pounds a week of chicken feed that's a lot so I decided to order a pallet of chicken feed because it was less expensive per bag for a 50 pound bag than I was paying at the farm store so the other day we had a pallet of chicken feed delivered unfortunately I could not get the garage door to the barn open Therefore, it got delivered to the house garage and it now, and it now needs to be transferred. So 2,000 pounds of feed needs to be transferred to the barn. But at least we have feed for a while and we won't have to continually go to the farm store and deal with that. Next year we're going to downsize and not have as many chickens in the winter. Uh, maybe just enough chickens so that we have eggs for us. Right now, sometimes we have friends that buy eggs for us. So because they eat more, chickens poop more, they sit inside more. And that is why I took advantage of that one warm day so that I could clean out part of the coop because now everything will be frozen and it will be a next to impossible task until we get uh, our thaw out. Every day we hope the water starts and isn't frozen. The well is below the frost line. The frost line is four feet. So the water should theoretically start. Um, if we hooked up a hose, which we have done in the past, and it was a heated hose, it still froze up and messed up the water line because the water wasn't able to properly go down the four foot frost pipeline because uh, of the suction from the hose. So we learned the hard way that you have to detach the hose in the winter. And I still heat the pipe though, I'll show you. It's not pretty because this is leaking and I need to get this seal, this whole head replaced in the spring. Um, but we heat this pipe 
so that there's no chance that this pipe freezes up. There definitely was a learning curve of what works and what doesn't work. And you can see I have my, my replacement well, what's it called? Frost proof yard hydro waiting over here in the corner to be replaced in the spring when it's not so cold out because now it would be a very difficult and costly expense to replace and we're getting water so I'll wait. So we do it the old fashioned way, carrying a bucket. This is the heated base system that I set up and it works well, the water doesn't freeze. It is so cold out here that my phone is freezing up and not cooperating and working. It's funny, not funny. It is really cold. And in the wind, when you walk outside, it is brutal on the skin. That's why I have a face mask on. But these hens, they're happy as can be. Hello, how are you? Your eggs are freezing. This is my favorite chicken. Look at her beautiful purplish hued feathers. Hello. The chickens and guineas have a little chicken door that they can come in and out of. It still works out well. And it kind of keeps some ventilation in here. We ran out of wood in the house, so I need to put some sliding door so we have easier access when we need wood in the house. Inevitably, Shadow steals the logs and Athena, and they get scattered all over the yard. They end up everywhere, don't they? I came to say hi to Monashuk, but I don't see her. I have to go look for her. I came to visit Monashuk. Look, I'm all red from the wind burn. And I found this woman. Hi, woman. Hi, woman. <laughs> it's cold outside. I know it's so cold, Tanya. I was thinking that I will make chibureki with the lamb, ground lamb, and call you. Oh. You came, good, you came. I did not start it, but it uh, can be done very, very fast. Merry Christmas. Thank you, thank you. Merry Christmas to you too. So Tanya, you probably never had chibureki. No. I'm going to make a chibureki. Long, long time ago I made chibureki. I need to find the chibureki. In your little black book of mm. secret recipes. Yes. <laughs> She's had that book for decades. Actually, Tanya, you don't know the history of my book. No. It was um, International Women's Day, and my father brought me this book. It's a cookbook recipe book. Uh -huh. And he brought me some interesting storybook. And I told my father, I said, Father, this day people giving, uh, man gives to a woman, Father gives to a daughter, wife, flowers, bouquet of flowers, uh, candies, uh, all beautiful stuff. He said, my daughter, flowers will die, candies will be eaten. But this book will be always with you. You will write all your recipes, always will be with you, and always will, you will remember me. Hmm. And it's, my father passed away 25 years ago. And I was, when he gave me, probably I was 12, 13, 14, teenager. And you know what? This book is always with me in memory of my father. It's already falling apart. I glued so many times, but I think I, until I die, I, this book will be with me. It's a very sentimental gift for me. And I keep and I take care well of this book. So... Monashuk sometimes misplaces things, but that's the one thing in, in the whole time I've known her, she's never misplaced. So no. I know it means a lot to her. It means a lot for me, Tanya. This book is, every time I'm taking in my hands, it's look like my father was words that you will remember me all your life. 
Yep. And you know, since that day, I started writing the recipes. And until now, I have recipes. And uh, names of those people who gave me those recipes. Those days, we did not have a YouTube, nothing that had a recipes in there. It was by one person to another person will give. And in Soviet Union, we had a recipe books, but it was so rare to, you wouldn't, it was a shortage. So shortage? Shortage, yeah. Shortage. And people, you would get the recipes from one person to another in writing. And I have a names even of people who gave me recipes here. So even I have a how to make a borscht recipe. This krasny borscht, ukrainsky borscht. I have Ukrainian borscht, Russian borscht. Huh. I wonder what the identifying difference is. I don't know. But those days I did not know how to make. So I would um, write it everything step by step. Now I don't need it. She invents her own recipes now. Yeah, and I have even how to make a recipe of mashed potato I have. Everything she makes is delicious. That I can vouch for. I have to check my dogs because sometimes they challenge her dogs on the fence line. Here is the dough that needs to sit for how long? Like 30, 40 minutes. I will leave it until I'm making the inside. So it will be a ground lamb with the onions, cilantro, black pepper, coriander seeds, a little bit of cayenne pepper. This is the filling, Manushak? This is the filling, Tanya. Lamb. Lamb filling. Oh, where Lamb. the onions go? Oh, you already put the onions? I already put the onions. Now I'm going to chop cilantro. And I've been here over an hour probably, and I'm still in my barn clothes, still trying to heat up. This is a hot paprika, dry cayenne pepper. This is a homemade cayenne pepper, gar dry garlic powdered, homemade, black pepper and salt mix. Do you make this that? One? Yes. This is a um, ground coriander seeds. I made it too. And this is black pepper. I did not make it. <laughs> Store made it. Not store, probably. Where it grows? Black pepper grows in India, I think. Okay, now we're mixing all this together. It smells so awesome already. It does, I can confirm that. And now we're going to start the dough. Open up the dough with the rolling pan. Okay, the meat has to be a little watery, so it would not be dry. Dear friends, we hope that you enjoyed this episode and you enjoyed the doing the chores and the sub-degree weather as well as preparing for Armenian Christmas and celebrating it a little bit with Manushak. And I am in the process of transferring the wood to the family room so that I can make a fire. There is already wood. I didn't want to light the day before. And Amazon packaging works well for starting fires. And there you have it. Have a good night, everyone. 
wishing everyone to stay healthy and see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.